Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and today's video is how I built the greenhouse. There was a picture of it at the end of the last video, and this one is about how I did it. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Ark Games and Stevenage. Check them out for all your online and in-store purchases. They're a friendly bunch of people, so go and say hello. The catalyst for the garden build was our upcoming participation game at Selwig in October. That's on the 17th. And I'd seen some of this Iron Gate scenery and I've seen their garden uh, greenhouse and accessories. And I thought, yep, yeah, I'll give that one a go because it, it looks like it's got everything that I needed. It's 3D printed plastic and it needed very little cleaning up. I would recommend using the Tamiya thin coat clear or the polyweld type glues to stick it together uh, because it's that um, different type of plastic consistency hard plastic but it, it needs a, a better sticking solution next up I needed base and again I used part of my Sarissa scenic tile pack that I had and a, a little bit of path that was printed off from their scenic pack and the fences the picket fence from Renadra. The sand mix is from Javis and it's their fine sand and desert stone mix. Uh, and that all went on as our base. I, I left a clear space for the bottom of the greenhouse. Once that was dry, and I, I would suggest sort of trying to pin down the edges so it doesn't warp, uh, I covered it with the brown paint that I'd got as the starter pot from home base. It's a matte brown, uh, so I gave that a coat and also did the fence with it. I'd stuck together the greenhouse and stuck down the floor base onto the gap that I'd left and I painted that off with um, Vallejo Air Primer. Oh, I should have mentioned before putting on the brown I had built up some rows of soil or what would be raised soil on, the, on a couple of uh, areas of the flower bed. I waited till everything was dry and then put on an, another line of uh, the fine sand and desert mix. Then I've given it a dry brush over with a light brown and then I was ready to start putting on the, the flock and details. The flock was the same mix as I used before which was the Woodland Scenics fine turf. It was the burnt grass mix uh, and weeds and summer yellow. So put that together and put it all on there. I left a few patches uh, clear, as you can see there. And then I added tufts. Uh, these are from the miniature painter, uh, .net. Uh, the nice tufts that he does, some flowers and other ones. And you can see I stuck in the base of the greenhouse. Added some um, color flowers uh, on the right hand side to do a little uh, flower bed. And then we we're on to starting to put on together some of the greenhouse. The greenhouse was painted with Vallejo Deep Green and the trestle tables with Deck Tan. The greenhouse floor was done with my favourite triad, triad of colour and it's from the GW Citadel range and it's Talan Sand with a wash of Agrat's Earthshade then a little bit of mix of uh, Talan Sand in with Morgar's Bone then Morgar's Bone dry brushed and then the final bit is Screaming Skull and I find it does a nice sandstone effect. Next up was some of the fine details like the pots and the plants. So for the uh, plant trays I used old wood, again Agrax wash and then uh, a little bit of off-white and the old wood to give them with a highlight. The pots were done with orange brown, again Agrax earth tanks over the top and the orange brown with a little bit of uh, Iraqi sand to uh, to take it down a little bit of colour, uh, give it a highlight. Then I was putting in the little bits and pieces of the uh, the tufts and the flowers just to make it a little bit more interesting. Then it was time to try out the greenhouse on the base. Uh, I tried to make sure that everything was okay. I'd stuck down the tables and the plant tray so that they would stay in place. Prior to sticking the greenhouse roof on to the, uh, the frame, I had fitted uh, onto the insides TT Combat window glass. I'd used double sided sticky tape to, to stick on the, uh, the crossbar and the down bars. 
uh, and then stuck the glass on and stuck it all together. Prior to doing the glass, I had finished off the painting of the uh, the greenhouse. Again, it, it, as I said, it was deep green, Agrax earth shade, and then the deep green with a little bit of Iraqi sand in to give it a little bit of a, a weathered effect. Uh, and once all that was uh, done, I then uh, stuck that to the base and stuck the roofs on. And you can see I added a wheelbarrow and that was just uh, old wood with uh, Agrax earth shade and then highlighted with the old wood with a bit of uh, deck tan in it. The final bit of work was a dry brush of deck tan on the, the fence all the way around. And that was the uh, garden with greenhouse finished and I was very pleased with the result. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little uh, build video and that uh, it motivates you to do a little bit of terrain building for yourself. As I say, I'm not one to do a great deal of it, so it's made a change for me to do some little bits and pieces. I'll put a link to all the people who, uh, who I think you can uh, follow to, uh, to get the materials, but most of it you can get from Lost Ark Games if you're in our local area, or online even. So next up is going to be a battle report, and that is going to be the start of our campaign. Colin and myself, we're refighting the Battle of Saipan using the Marianus and Palial uh, book from Bolt Action and Warlord Games. So look out for that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notifications button so you get to know when the next video is up straight away. And until the next time, Keep safe and look after yourselves.